Now it's time to level our cabinets. Now, as you can remember in all of our other videos, because we're using the easy level system, we typically put all of our cabinet runs together and then level them as one large piece of furniture. Not so with shims. So if we're using shims in this series, what we're going to have to do is level each and every cabinet independent of one another. That's because we have to have shims in the back, and if I've got two or three cabinets uh, screwed together, I can't get a shim back there. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, as you can see here, we need to bring these cabinets up about a quarter of an inch all the way across. So starting in the back of the cabinet, tilt it forward a little bit. These are quarter inch shims. So that should be this. Puts us right on our mark there. Let's go to the other side. Okay. Okay, our backs are looking pretty good. So now it's time for the front. So I'm going to put my small level here and raise the front up in the same fashion. Got to pick the cabinet up a little bit. Close. Okay. I got this side. Got this side. Okay, that looks good. As you can see, this floor is a little bit higher. All the other shims went all the way in. Uh, this one just required a little bit. It looks like we're leveled pretty well here and there. Let's check our other side again. Uh, since we raised the other side up now, this one's actually going to have to come up a little bit here, so it's going to require more than one shim in this corner. That's where it gets a little sticky. I'm going to have to pull this one out a little bit. Now, let's see. Okay, now this side's level again. Let's check our other side. Okay, we're good. Now, why, why, did that, uh, why do we have to put those shim, shims over there? When you're dealing with a cube, which a cabinet is a cube, uh, that's what gets so frustrating. Because uh, every time I touch one corner, it affects everything else. And it just takes a little bit of time. Now, now, this is actually the easy part. Why? Because we can reach all sides of our cabinet to adjust our shims. Now, as we place cabinets next to this, it becomes a lot more difficult because we can no longer reach the back of the cabinet. So we kind of have to guess and put the shim in place, put the cabinet in place, hope that it's level, pull it out until we get the back shims right. The fronts are about the same. Okay, one other thing. Before we put our uh, neighboring cabinets in place, this you cannot do because this is a wedge. So it's obviously higher than it is over here. And since, we've given, since we're going to put our cabinet here, we've got frame cabinets plus the side. We've got about a, an inch differential here where the uh, side of the cabinet is going to sit right here on the shim. So it would be much higher than this cabinet. So what we have to do is mark this line, cut the shim, put it back into place, and then start from scratch. Now, if we were going to actually do this kitchen in shims, we're just doing this for demonstration, but if I was going to leave these shims in place, the next step, once I cut my shim and, and have them all in place, is to uh, bring the shims out and glue them in place. Why would you do that? Well, how's this set up? Um, hot, cold temperature. These shims will not always have the entire weight of the cabinet on them just because of expansion and contraction. So therefore, what happens is it becomes a useless foundation and that's how you get granite cracks and so forth. So really the best way to combat that is the way we did for years. Uh, we just take these shims out, put a little spot of glue on them, on each one, put the cabinet back into place, and then you've got your feet and they're, and they're perfectly in. Now, the problem with that, of course, is once we get through the rest of the kitchen, if you have to make any adjustments, that makes it tough because you have to pull it out and, and redo it. But hopefully, uh, we should be right on our line now. Hopefully, we won't have to make any changes. How do you know what size shim you need here and here. Well, the way I do it is I'll just go in right next to my other shim and I'll go ahead and mark that. 
and cut this shim, turn it around, and I'll use that for my backside, and you can do the fronts too, but specifically the back, because we can still reach the fronts, okay? Okay, this is the piece for our backside. Again, I'm just going to sit it right here, and that should work pretty well to get us level. Uh, same thing for the front, I'm just going to stick it in, mark it, Okay, this looks pretty good. Um, we're going to have to shim this up, of course, and then we'll put a long level on it and make sure everything uh, is level front and back. Uh, and then it's time to clamp our uh, styles together and get them screwed together. cabinets level, it's time to go ahead and clamp them and screw them together. Now, we normally do this on the back side of the cabinets. Uh, it's just a lot easier that way, but we can't. Again, uh, we're using shims here, so we have to go ahead and put the cabinets in first. And you can see there's a lot of differential here that we've got to account for. So, same thing as before, we use our cabinet clamps. Front. Shoot this. Okay, now we need to, uh, this cabinet needs to come up a little bit or down or something, just like so, and clamp them together. Okay, and come down here, looking pretty decent. Bottom needs to come out just a hair. Okay, that looks pretty good. We can go ahead and screw and clamp it. Now, for this side of our kitchen, as you can see, we've got a long ways to go because we've got some real highs and lows uh, on this floor. I do not recommend trying to cover this distance with a shim. Uh, a lot of people do. They'll simply turn their shims like this. And as you can see, you can, you can make that distance up. But again, now you've got multiple shims under your cabinet, which is even, an even worse foundation. So what I'm going to recommend is I'll get this measurement and uh, grab a two by four on the table saw and actually cut that piece and, and put it in there just like a shim, just like we did on the other side. And you do that for each and every cabinet all the way down. That's the safer way to go. It gives you a little stronger foundation. Now, we're just gonna follow the same sequence all the way around our kitchen, if in fact we're using shims all the way through. Um, this is the end of this segment for us because we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these shims and get the easy level system on here and uh, get this kitchen finished up.